You might not have realized this, but recently GameMaker updated and gave us a brand new code editor. And I got to say, I haven't played with this until today, and I really like it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to enable this, and then I'll give you a tour of what I like most about it. So in GameMaker, you just go to File, you go to Preferences, you go to Code Editor 2, and then you just click Enable right here. Once you click Enable, you just click OK or Apply, and GameMaker is going to restart, and then you're going to have it just like this. And so let me show you some things that I really like. Um, so I have my assets over here, and I have Object Player open. And when I scroll down, of course, I'm in my Create event. But when I scroll down, it goes right to my Step event, all the way down to my Draw event. So I have the code for this entire object right here. It's just the scroll wheel away. Or I can use this window over here to navigate around. Or over here on the left, I have Object Player uh, you know, selected. Then under events, I can just use this to flip around. I think that's so cool. Uh, the other thing that I really like is over here where it says declarations on the bottom left, it shows all my active variables. And I can click them, and it'll take me right to it. So if I have a huge script and I'm looking for a specific variable, it's right here. And, uh, of course, this is in my create event. If I go to step, it's going to show me all the variables here. And... I mean, that's just so great. It's so cool. Uh, in my draw event, I don't have any variables really working right here, so it doesn't show me anything. I mean, how neat. So I really like it. Uh, you can flip between objects right here just by left-clicking once. You don't have to double-click. With your rooms, you have your room creation code. You still have your workspace right here if you need to do anything. And, um, of course, I suppose you can still have your asset browser uh, somewhere so you can work with anything that does not appear on this new code editor. But I really, I really, really like this, and um, I encourage you to check it out. I, I, yeah, okay. So the other thing that's really cool, let me, let me close this because I'm not using it right now, uh, is you can use these themes. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Preferences, I'm going to go to my Code Editor 2, and then I'm going to click Theme. And I've already uploaded a couple themes. So uh, one that I really liked was this one. Um, that's pretty cool. And then uh, Game Maker Nord is one I found on Reddit. And uh, it, it basically uses something that's called TextMate, which there's a lot of themes out there already for things other than Game Maker that you can already utilize. In fact, I'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can check out different themes on this guy's GitHub. Uh, and, and yeah, so you could change all of this very easy and even use themes that other people have made. Uh, you could change the font here. Of course, you could do this in the last one, but I, I don't know. I just really like um, I like that they're using TextMate because it just means that there's all these themes out there that maybe uh, they're not made specifically for GameMaker, but they're going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to switch back to default. Uh, just a couple other things is, so you know how Create Event and Step, and I mean, every all the events are in one window. If you don't want that, uh, you can disable it. And so all you have to do to disable it is go into your preference, go to Code Editor 2, and then you just want to uncheck Show All Documents in a Single View, and then click Apply. So now it just is going to show the code for whatever you have selected. So I have Create Event, there it is. I have Step Event, I have Draw. Uh, it's just going to show whatever you have selected there. Uh, so if you don't like that, you can disable it. Uh, I like it, though, so I'm going to re-enable it. The other thing is when you first enable this, uh, this editor view, which it is, is this thing on the left, this is probably going to be defaulted to the top like this, which is okay. I mean, you know, you could see your assets right here by just dropping them down. It gives you more room to code, which is nice. Um, and then you have your events right here. You have your variables right here. I don't like it up there, though. I, I need to see it. And so I set this to the left, or, you know, you could set it anywhere that you want. So um, also there's a little icon right here that will let you set it wherever you want. Uh, so just keep that in mind, too. Oh, where did it go? Every time you click it, it goes somewhere new. So, yeah, I encourage you to check it out and see if you like it. Play around with the different settings. And uh, you can also, of course, go to theme, set the font size if you need it a little bigger. I needed mine a little bigger than what it was by default. 
And, uh, and that's it. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on X, x.com slash wizardy, and follow uh, or join the Discord and say hello on there. Leave a like, leave a comment. All of that helps the algorithm. I'm trying to break 8,000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you for subscribing and helping me with that goal. Thank you for uh, engaging with this video so more people can see it. That's all I got for you. Hey, if you know something about this code editor that I didn't cover in the video, please leave it as a comment. All right, I'll see you next time.